Did you play sports? I did play yeah. sports. I've been playing football with Foster and Keelan since I was like six years old. So I look at some of these guys on the football team as my brothers. Um, so being able to have two full seasons with them, even throughout the COVID pandemic, it was like, even though I knew COVID was going on, it was kind of like a getaway from it. Um, just being able to play football, the sport that I love, with the guys that I love. Um, and like you mentioned, just being out there, I remember the first game of my senior season, uh, it was like the first time a crowd, we could have like a full capacity yeah. crowd in a couple of years. And I looked up just at one point in the game, I just looked up and it was like packed. So it was great to see that too. Like the whole community came out um, and we ended up winning that game against the team that beat us in state. So it was just an emotion. It was probably the most emotional game I played in. in you probably time. remember that for the rest of your life. Yeah, that for feeling. sure. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. Sports did that for you. Yep. The, our schools, um, our schools were so important. Um, Dr. Prosecki, Dr. Hofer, out handing out, distributing food throughout the pandemic uh, to families that couldn't get that, and they would sit there and talk with us because they they desperately needed this place. Yeah. And so that's the message I would take back: is if at all possible, please get the kids back in school. Uh, I'd like to emphasize the fact that uh, your willingness to meet with. Uh, our students here are our true representatives of Decatur Township. Uh, I've, I've worked with some of these individuals literally on the football field and uh, they all do a tremendous job being across country, football or what have you. And uh, it's a really an honor to be able to stand here with them and listen to them talk to you. Thank you very much. Uh, I appreciate your, your honesty, your vulnerability, and your willingness to share what we need to do moving forward, all right? Continued success. Thank you. I do believe that, especially after hearing what I heard from the students and the staff today, they need to be in the classrooms. They need to be with their peers, they need to be with their teachers. So I applaud and commend the educators across the country who are doing everything possible to keep our schools open. Uh, what I heard from students today is, is there is no substitute for in-person learning. So. I recognize educators across the country are doing everything they can. We have 96% of our schools open, um, and that takes a lot of hard work. I anticipate it's going to get better, um, but we need to do everything possible to keep our schools open. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.